Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Trump's New York entanglements, plural, today, and how things are expected to proceed and move along. Um, we will talk about what it appears the strategy is, and then we will talk about how Trump is reportedly viewing some of the coverage from last week and just kind of run through everything. So the expectation is that today opening statements, not arguments, will, uh, will start in the main event of his illegal double header. Um, yeah, apparently that is a very important distinction. It is opening statements, not opening arguments. Uh, Almost every attorney in the world was in my inbox this weekend. I felt like I had said gas instead of fuel to somebody who drives a diesel. Um, so opening statements are to proceed. Then after that, it's being suggested that the prosecution is going to bring up a person named Pecker. Pecker, according to reporting, is very familiar with the alleged process, the methodology used to lessen the exposure of potentially unflattering information about the former president. So what's the prosecution doing? They're going to tell them what they're going to tell them. If you were around for the January 6th hearings, we talked about how they structured things very well. They used a good presentation format. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them, tell them what you told them. Pecker seems to be somebody who is going to lay context and kind of put things into a story. And then the prosecution will fill in the details and then bring somebody on to remind them of the story. That appears to be the strategy. And uh, that's kind of what the expectation is at this point. There is also, in addition to the stuff dealing with the, quote, hush money case, there is, there, there's movement when it comes to the bond in the civil case. And there will be uh, talks about that today. The Attorney General's office is basically saying don't accept that bond, and Trump's legal team is saying to accept it. We'll see how that plays out. As far as Trump goes, reporting says that he is incredibly unhappy about the coverage from last week. Basically, it seems like he thinks it smells of bias. He's unhappy about the coverage of him allegedly falling asleep, and he is reportedly very unhappy with the sketches um, that were made in the courtroom. Um, uh, according to the information that has come out, he feels that those people are out to get him. Uh, this will add to Trump's list of grievances. This is something that might influence what he has to say coming in or going out of the courtroom if he chooses to make any statements. When Trump gets something like this in his head, Generally speaking, he doesn't let it go, and it influences a lot of what he says in public. Um, that leads us to the other thing that is likely to occur uh, in the coming days, which is movement when it comes to the judge looking at any potential or alleged violation of the gag order. So... That's what's going on. That's how things are shaping up. That is your opening statement for the week when it comes to Trump's entanglements. I'm sure there will be uh, more developments as the week goes on. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.